Good afternoon, everybody. We're in DeBerry, Florida at the Sunrail station. Sunrail is the commuter train that goes from Volusia County, DeBerry, Florida, to Point Siena, Kissimmee area, Osceola County, Florida. And despite this train being in place since 2014, we have never made it here. There's a map of the locations. We're gonna start up there today, take the train all the way down to Point Siena, and then return. Next train in four minutes. Now we've got 10 seconds. There it goes. And away we go. We've made it in. Can wander or meander around here. Oh my. Wow. Look at that one more floor. One thing to note, it was $19 for two round trip tickets for the full distance. But if you're going to any Magic games, you can ride for free with a Magic ticket. And away we go. The train is surprisingly filled up. Despite it being the Monday after Christmas and a holiday, Unlike any major metropolitan area, like you always said, there's really no mass transit to be had around Florida. We do have some Lynx buses that are hitting this here and there in Orlando type area, and then Voltran in Volusia County, but no subway systems or extensive trains. This train basically will take you from Tiberi, Florida to Kissimmee or Point Siena, uh, Florida, which is just kind of south of downtown. There are plans in effect to expand this to Lakeland, Florida and up through Daytona and eastward to Orlando International Airport, but you cannot get to those locations right now unless you connect to like a bus or take an Uber or cab. Sanford, Florida. We've actually passed through this bridge before with the dinner cruise. Total time sent in exceeds from origin to destination will take us about 90 minutes. Lots of trees to look at. The train does reach speeds up to about 80 miles an hour. Pulling into Sanford now. Trolley. This is the Sanford Board in the bus station. loop at the trolley stop. It's the downtown Sanford. Sanford station. So if you were looking to do some type of epic food or bar crawl, you can certainly do that on the train and not have to worry about driving. Sanford, Florida, amazing. You've seen many of our videos if you've watched this channel for any period of time. All the bars and nightlife and restaurants that there are downtown. A lot of houses to look at, backyards. Get the train going through your backyard. Next stop, Lake Mary. Got some stores and apartments this over is this the way. Lake Mary Station. The train has some considerable speed going now. Pulling into Longwood. Lots of people get on the train today. That guy's losing his hearing. Passing by Papa Bee's, Amazing Wings, and Hourglass Brewery, Altamont Springs. Pulling into Maitland. I don't see any passengers here. And by the way, you can buy your cards either with credit, debit, or cash. Some of these backyards are um, interesting. 
got their mailing. Nice little bike trail, little running trail over here, out of the way. Next stop, Winter Park. See like everybody getting ready to get off, get their food and drinks on. Lovely downtown Winter Park. Golf course. People walk in the course. Look at that. Winter Park Police. Downtown Winter Park. Long lines outside restaurants. Look at that. Oh, really? Yeah, so she's like waving at She was dying. Oh my god. Incredibly pretty area. Look at that menorah fully lit up over there. So what do you do? Just wait until the train pulling in next to us. And you can see over here now that some people have gotten up and I can move around. Some of the chairs have tables next to them too, so you can sprawl out and do some work and have some coffee or what have you. There are three levels of seats here too, so we're in the middle level, you have an upper level, and then a lower level here too. Storage down here, you can walk around, take a little look outside. There's Amy Caulfield. And look who we found. You can cut in between the cars. There's a little thing on the side that I blink motion sensor for your fingers to open the door so you can go in between the cars to the next car. And while you can have a beverage on board, there is no eating. The next stop is Advent Health, so basically Florida Hospital over here towards downtown. You can go to the Science Center. And it's a bummer because it is 1.15 right now. We're right at the Science Center. We're going to continue to keep going down to Point Santa and then come up, probably get something to eat. The Science Center closed at 5 o'clock, but they have an exhibit over there that I would really like to get to. And it was made for kids. It's adult friendly if you like Hot Wheels. So they got a Hot Wheels exhibit going on. Plus, the Science Center is really cool. We never get to go there as much as I'd like to. Next stop up will be the Lynx bus station over towards Ace Cafe. This is the Princeton Warehouse, the back of it that we're passing by here with all the graffiti. They got us Washburn Imports. Ivanhoe. Again, a little quirky area, antiques, breweries, food, all kinds of good stuff over here. Ah, there's that cool decoration that we always see from the highway. Here's the back end of that link station. Look at all the buses. You can get off this train and basically connect and get anywhere around Orlando that the buses are going here. This is the backyard of Ace Cafe. That's where we saw Everclear over the summer. We're heading to Church Street Station, which kind of parallel to the Orlando Magic, and that's where you would get off. There's the arena off in the distance. So if you were going to the game, anywhere north or south, you could just basically show them your ticket to the game. You can ride for free, and the train home leaves at 10.30 p.m. at night, which is plenty of time. Plus Magic Victory, and even a, probably a beverage out on Church Street before you get on the train. So there you go, Amway Center. You can't beat that deal. Free 99 to be able to get to wherever you need to go instead of normally 15 bucks at least, usually 15, 20 dollars to park over in this area, as well as the misery of I-4 traffic that you don't need to do. There goes Hamburger Mary's, our favorite hamburgers in all of Orlando. These guys got off the train to go downtown Orlando, taking their obligatory train picture. This mess of roadway out here is I-4 and 408 all connecting out there. Now, next stop is Orlando Regional Hospital, and right near RHS is that hot dog place that we ate at earlier this year. I think it was earlier this year. Was it last year already? The hot dog place with the beers on tap that you just put your beer glass on the thing and. No, same place. Oh, Crave Hot Dogs is the name of the place. They changed owners. 
Over to the left is Dr. Philip Center, where I saw King Diamond perform pre-COVID. So in addition to this being Orlando Health, this is also the Amtrak station since where you catch your Amtrak train is either going south or north. That is something that we are hoping to try to do next year is be able to take Amtrak at least from New York all the way down in a sleeper car. Be able to see all of the country on the East Coast. Our goal is to be able to get up there, maybe hit the Poconos again, hit New Jersey, see family, see the Mets, see some of the city, and then come back down via train. Got some train cars out over here with Amtrak. Flying along now, next stop Sand Lake Road. Oh my goodness. Next stop is Tupperware. We've done a video at Tupperware before. They have a little, like museum area in Tupperware to be able to check it out. Plus, Tupperware back in store is in Target now. It's making like a resurgence. But if you got off at the Tupperware station, you could go to Gatorland, which is like right down the block. Big question that everyone's going to ask is does this go to any of the theme parks? The answer is no. Uh, there is continued talk and development for train to go from Orlando and connect to go all the way to Miami, which is going to be a super expensive ride, by the way, for what it's worth. It could be really worth it if you're just looking to try to drink and not take a vehicle at all and go by Miami, but uh, the one thing that's kind of held things up is just theme park politics and Disney not wanting to pay for a train if it's stopping at Universal and all that kind of good stuff, so uh, this doesn't go anywhere near the theme parks at this point. Honestly, though, if it did go to the theme parks, I mean, I would highly recommend this. I mean, right now, this is a fantastic trip. Super comfortable. Actually feels like I'm back on like a regular amtrak -y type train. I would say probably even more comfortable than like when I would take the Long Island Railroad when I lived in New York. Just not a lot to see while you're out there. A lot of people's backyards and just weeds and overgrowth. If I lived closer to the train station and worked downtown, this would be ideal because I could just take my scooter right onto the train, like basically ride it to the train, fold it down, take it on the train, take it to work, and charge it up at work, and come back without needing to have a car, which is a super bonus when you're in Central Florida because there's pretty much nothing that you can reach without a car. Pulling into the Tupperware station, which is just really kind of funny to say at face value. Kind of expecting like a little burp container to be out here. Next stop up is Kissimmee, another Amtrak station. We've made an executive decision. We are going to get off at Kissimmee instead of Point Siena so that we can get something to eat. If we got off at Point Siena and then got back on and got off at Kissimmee to eat, we would have to buy another fare with our cards. So we're skipping that. Rolling, rolling, rolling. You can see the car drive through the gate right in front of it. All right, kiss me. Watch your step.
So we're making our way from the train station to a very desolate Kissimmee area. Broadway Pizza Bar, Scooterville of Central Florida, Sushi Bar, Three Sisters Speakeasy. There is a seafood restaurant across the street, Willie's Wieners. I'm gonna head into Three Sisters Speakeasy. And this is what it looks like. They have a pretty varied menu here. We are gonna start with chips and dips, homemade potato chips. And then picadero for two, as well as six empanadas. There we got a chocolate martini. Homemade potato chips. Wow, look at that. And look at that. And this gloriousness is a monkey runner. Food and drinks were amazing. Well worth the trip. And now we have about 10 minutes left to get back to the trains. Amtrak baggage area. We gotta go across the tracks. So while we're in Kissimmee waiting for the train, you can check out. We're here, we did not go all the way to Point Siena, which was our original plan, but there's nothing there except for like a Wawa gas station, some other local things that are not like eateries and stuff. So we stopped at Kissimmee, which is downtown. There's places to eat and drink. This is the full route all the way. And then you have train schedule. You can either download the app or check this out online. Train schedule Monday through Friday does not operate holidays and weekends. And this is the cost. So we are going four counties. Round trip would be 950 per person. And you can get a Sun Card pass here as well, which is like a weekly pass. One county, $17. Monthly pass is 56. Annual 560. Or annual for four counties, round trip, 1400. Sounds like a lot, but if you were taking the train every day, break it down, it's significantly cheaper than traveling in at least New York City and other metro areas. getting on the track and cars losing their fight with the train. I don't know how it happens because every time that we stop or approach one of these stations, you can hear the bell jingle in the background and the horn. The bars are down, but somehow, somehow, all the time, and I think it just happened twice over this Christmas weekend, trucks get on the tracks, cars get on the tracks, they always get flat, and it's just a repeated thing. Not every stop has the bars, though. Oh, a new development. But still, you see a train coming. There's lights. There's signs. It's a exactly. railroad crossing ahead. They are flashing as you're approaching. But you still try to beat the train. You can see bars even to be able to walk across the track or down. There's no way that you don't know that a train is coming. 
the sun is going down. Our trip is coming to an end here shortly. Last stop, DeBerry. This is where Gemini Springs Park is. We've been to that park many times. That was a fun experience overall. Yeah. So 450 each way. And uh, I think for sure if I go to a game during the week, I'll be taking this train. It's just not conveniently located by where folks live. And I think until they further expand into the Volusia County area, not very uh, easy. easy for us at least. <laughs> could be for other people. We're getting out of here for now, so thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys.